Well, YouTubers, this is a newest uh, video that I'm doing. Hello. Doing about uh, my acrylic pouring. So, I did these last night. They're these clear pieces of plastic that you find... I don't know, it's hard to explain. But I did those. This one here is a really neat one. On the other side. This one here. That turned out really neat. And then we got this one. Yay. And I got this one I just did this morning. It's still wet. That one's pretty cool. It's hard to copy what people on YouTube do when they do the cell splitting. The cell splitting doesn't seem to work for me. I just end up with a mess and it doesn't do what it's supposed to. This one I just did with one of those pieces of plastic. This one has turned out really cool using some fluorescent and neon paints. And from this brand, uh, Magic Fly, the uh, pre-mixed colors. So, and here's another one that I did last night and did a little bit more today. Used a toothpick and made that function there. That turned out really cool. And uh, some of the advice I've heard on YouTube, if, if you don't like a pour, you can just do over it. I've learned that. The salad strainer is works out good. The split pouring cup. The upside, well, whatever you call it. And I've used these. And something else I'm going to try is doing pouring with these. Put these on the on the canvas and just put a different color in each circle and we've got uh, squares we've got hearts the heart one is great for Valentine's Day and we've got the other some different ones stars so I thought why not just put that on the canvas and use that as a template so anyway that's what I've been up to so far, but I really like how this turned out. That one is amazing. I wish I could get my bike like that. And that I tried using this, but I, I don't know what really it did, but it just helped the paints. I don't know. So anyway, that's what I got so far. And uh, so I hope you like it.